What's up YouTube? It's Zadler, it's TCG here and welcome to another TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're going to be playing with the first place winning list of the special event in Dubai and that's going to be Boswell uh, Garboder Weevil Shrine. So this uh, Bosgarb Shrine deck was uh, popular ever since uh, the World Tournament and has seen a fair amount of success but dropped off the radar a little bit here and there uh, when people uh, actually ran uh, options to just get rid of uh, 130 HP Pokemon like Boswell for example. They used to run uh, Shining Lugia and all that good stuff to just have a count for this deck because this deck was very good and now it is uh, still popping up once again so that's also why is that because nowadays uh, you sh they used to have like a small Weavile line but now they in included like a 2-2 line of Weavile and with Evil Abnomation you can actually deal dish out 50 damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon that has an ability in play so that means if they're running like an, uh, a little Ninetales variant with like Gardevoirs or Swampert or the new Sogaleo well everybody runs abilities nowadays we have Malamars uh, with of course the Psychic Transfer ability we have Rayquazas, we have Zoroark with Trade, we have Macargo with the Smooth Over uh, uh, yeah funny enough Macargo is also still part of the deck so it's a pretty simple uh, concept here we have Macargo putting something on top of the deck and we have uh, cards like Lily to just draw that out. We have four copies of Lily to do that. We even have Kukui to draw out the card that we want. And then together with, like, uh, this is a one price attacking deck together with Shrine. They'll definitely get some uh, uh, cheeky KOs here and there. Not only that, you are able to one shot them. Now, how are we able to one shot? We have, of course, Garbodor with Trash Lines. Everybody is sleeping on this card and it's still very good. And definitely, if you think about a lot of uh, these uh, decks running lots of item cards, like Rare Candy and, uh, of course, everything that uh, revolves around item cards, like the Ultra Ball and even the Rescue Stretch or Acrobat, you name it, a lot of decks are running lots of item cards and that way we can uh, abuse that. Just a simple Rainbow Energy and uh, Garboder will be uh, sometimes one-shotting together with Shrine as a residual damage and Choice Ban will definitely hit for crazy numbers. And even to go overboard, let's say you're facing up against Blacephalon with their Naganadels because you're definitely want to see, yeah, definitely gonna see some Naganadels if they want to go after your Boswell. You definitely uh, are able to just one shot uh, because of Evil Abnomination. You just uh, count uh, the number of abilities the opponent has in play, add a choice band up to the map uh, with a Shrine of Punishment, you'll definitely get one hit KOs. Oranguru is here for just Instruct, could also help out draw the card you put on top with Macargo. And Ditto can transform into every stage one you want, either a Weavile or, of course, a Garbodor. So that is the extra thing that this Boswell. Garb Shrine got Diancy for the extra damage output with your, of course, Boswell, your uh, perfect lead. And if the opponent has exactly four prize cards remaining, this guy can also dish out 120 damage or 150 with a choice band, or of course, 170 with a Diancy or 180 with Shrine. So very dangerous indeed. So uh, this uh, list is all based around Judge. There's three copies of Judge in this list, so uh, they opted to go for Judge. And uh, over the Cynthia, there's only one Cynthia in this list, and also only one Acrobat. So we're definitely gonna try out this first place winning list of Dubai. So if you're interested to see how it works, definitely uh, yeah, uh, continue on watching because I'm, oh, the, the first letter is reset to uh, receive a Ho-Oh. Not that we need that, so let's just see here. Buzz, Garb Shrine, what's the last deck we played? Last deck is probably Attack and Steelix, so let's find the Boss Garb Weavile list here. And let's see if it actually can compete against some of the top decks in the meta game. It actually was uh, talking about a lot of uh, these decks running special, uh, yeah, special things like abilities and stuff. We even have the Sidui with Feather Arrow. Again, uh, one of these Pokemon that runs abilities like like half of the meta uses abilities. Definitely against things like, let's say, Gramble. They uh, rely on uh, Macargo and Instruct. So uh, like the Smooth Over and Instruct combo. So you definitely have a good time with Weavile. And they also use a zillion amount of items. So this uh, is actually well positioned in the meta game right now. A lot of people were sleeping on this deck. And today we're gonna hopefully showcase that this deck is capable of doing a lot of stuff. We don't have the perfect hand right now. We do have a little Trubbish on the active. We have a Ditto. So in my opinion, I'm just gonna smack down my Trubbish right here. So they are gonna be uh, less aggressive. We can also smack down Ditto. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that and see if we top deck something. Hopefully a supporter because our hand does not look very promising. Uh, the good thing we have here is a choice band. So if we draw into Lily, we can play out our entire hand. Uh, maybe... Uh, yeah, we even have Guzma to just make something stuck. Okay, this is Lost March. So this will be tricky. How do you face the Lost March? They have resistance to fighting. So uh, this uh, list of Dubai, I don't know if they faced any Lost March decks. But I do know that uh, the Lost March deck does run a couple of items. So we will uh, be able to punish them with Garboder. And uh, there's the first item already. There's Netball. Definitely gonna see another hop up here. And probably gonna see a supporter as, as well. Oh, so... Uh, 
The opponent already used Trumbeak, so that means we are not gonna be drawing a supporter, otherwise it would be in the Lost Zone, and we don't see that, so that is just unfortunate to hear. Hopefully we will draw into something that will make uh, a little bit more consistent, like maybe an Oranguru or a Nestle. That could also help us out a lot, since we can play out like three cards of our hand right now. Okay, there's a Timer Ball, one heads, one tails, we see a Skip Bloom. Oranguru, is he gonna be able? Okay, he just passes the turn and we draw into a rainbow energy. Oh boy, not what I wanted to see here. We could uh, leave this uh, Oranguru stuck in the act, if that is something we can do. We also have access to, of course, our Garboder here, which can, of course, already one shot a hop hip. This guy is stuck in the active, so for now, I think. Yeah, we could retreat later, so I think I'm just gonna give one rainbow energy over onto the Strubbish and we're just gonna pass the turn because there's nothing else we could do. We could also equip the Choice Band here, not that it matters as, uh, in this matchup, but we could uh, save it for uh, a, an another turn here because they might run Tapu Lele GX in a, a Lost March deck. I am not certain at all. So, we do see Skip Plume here. Hopefully this Oranguru stays stuck in the active until we draw a draw support. So we already see two items, that is 40 damage. And he is already able to dish out 60 damage. That's an, another item card. This list does not run Field Blower, so that makes me a little bit worried some. He also uses Instruct. Probably gonna see maybe a Marsh Shadow could also. Okay, Guzma, that is very bad for us. That means our Trubbish will already see the discard pile since there's 60. Yeah, that Rainbow Energy is definitely uh, something that maybe I should have waited. Oh well. Let's see here, we're definitely going to be playing another round with this deck, so uh, we have McCargo, so we could smooth over. Uh, is he going to be able to put something else in the Lost Zone? I don't know. Let's just try it and smooth over something that we can put on top, and the thing I want to be putting on top is a draw supporter, because this is just getting ridiculous. So, what do we get? We can get a Cynthia, I think that is the best thing, of, that's the best plan of action here, since we can then attach, choice ban, ah, we definitely need Cynthia. If we survive a turn, we might uh, get on um, board here, but he's definitely gonna be able to uh, one-shot us, I think. The only thing he needs to do is like uh, evolve into Skip Plume, put two of them in the Lost Zone, and that will be that. Okay, this is already a Professor Arms lecture. I'm just definitely gonna concede here because, yeah, there are the Skip Plumes, and that's going to be that. So, looks like this deck is also able to brick. This is the first time we're playing with the Buzzgarp uh, Weavile list since like in forever. So we're gonna be playing another round here. So that was not the way I wanted to showcase this deck. Hopefully in the, the next game, things will turn out better. We have a Blacephalon player, okay? I wonder how this does against Blacephalon. I have not tested the matchup at all. So this is going to be Trollminator, the opponent. Uh, we won the coin flip, which is also definitely gonna go first to be able to just uh, set up our uh, Schneasel and uh, Trubbish. Okay, we start with Diancy, so still not a great way to start. I wonder if uh, how this player actually uh, got it to work, but this is only the second game, but looks like, yeah, we do have a switch, so at least we have that. We have a switch, we have a unit energy. Sad? The opponent is sad. Maybe he has a, a terrible start with the Lele, so we're just gonna leave it at this. We can already use Ultra Ball and an attachment. Oh, he starts with a Marshal, that's cool. Thing I'm going to do here is get rid of our Judge. We want to swap into something that can smack some damage around, but oh boy. Also get rid of the Choice Band here. Okay, the thing I want to be getting out here. This is already a Pokemon with an ability. So we might as well, I don't know if these guys can uh, one-shot at all. So for now I think yeah, this Ditto is good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Do we get out the Schneasel and hopefully we draw into another Ultra Ball? Or do we get out the Boswell? I think the best plan of action is just to go for Schneasel and make him very scared. So I'm just gonna go with this flow. And we're also gonna judge. This will help out a lot. Hopefully he will uh, make the right decision here. He is stuck with the Marshadow in the active, so at least we have that going for us. We're also gonna just thin out our hand. Maybe we draw into an Oranguru. So that this is the threat that we're working with. It is a Sneasel. Come on. And uh, if we have that, okay, this is not what we wanted. Maybe a Ditto would have been better. Definitely gonna smack down the Shrine already. And we are gonna leave it at that. So I don't know what the, if that was the best plan of action. Maybe Ditto would have been better since Ditto can evolve either into Garbodor. So I wonder. Okay, the Shrine is already gone. Ultra Spray is definitely gonna see Blacephalon or Poipole. There's a Poipole in action. 
This guy has an ability, so we're dishing out 50 with weakness as a KO. That's awesome. We might as well uh, leave this uh, in the active position. Okay, there's a Lily for six. Wow. Okay. If we can get the upper hand here, if we can get out a Weavile, there both of them. Both of them are in the deck. We might get the upper hand here. Okay, Blacephalon going into the discard pile. Are we gonna see more point balls? Two point balls? Will there be more popping up? I don't know. Also, this Rainbow Energy, I definitely want to draw into more cards, so I do think I'm gonna get rid of this Rainbow Energy. Okay, Ultra Ball, it's even better. This is even better. Just gonna get rid of this, I'm gonna get our Weavile on board. Weavile does have resistance to Psychic, so if even if he comes with like, whatever. Just get this Weavile on board. He definitely needs Naganadels to get his combo going, so let's get this Weavile on board. Also, I'm gonna check with Ultra Space, what might be priced. Also, just gonna check real quick. We even can get out of Boswell, which is awesome with this Ultra Space, but uh, more than that, we have access to lots of cards. Okay, Shrines, how many Shrines? Two of them, okay, that's cool. Two choice bands, and then, okay, there seems to be a Rainbow Energy prized, I think. One Garbodor here. All right, let's get our Boswell out, which is awesome. We can do that every turn uh, if we don't draw into our Shrine. So here comes the Lily, bam. We get lots of cards. This uh, Slugma I really like here. Not definitely gonna leave some space for other attackers, maybe Schneasel and Garbodor. We even can give a uh, unit energy onto the Boswell here. Sometimes this guy can also start attacking. And we see uh, the opponent conceding, so we already saw the threat here. Even if he got like two four prize cards, the uh, baby Boswell could also actually uh, dish out enough damage to get rid of that Boswell. Actually, that's the Cephalon. So that was a very, uh, very gr great uh, first uh, showing here. We're gonna be playing another round, so this is going to be game number three. We lost one, we won one, it's uh, just 50-50, I don't know. Next opponent is going to be Grass, Water, Fighting and Darts. I don't know what deck to expect here. Toshishu is our opponent, we lost the coin flip as well. In this deck, if you lose the coin flip, you want to be starting with Baby Boswell. And that is not the case, of course. Because we're recording a video, it will not uh, run as smoothly as we think. We have a Lily, we have a Choice Band, we have an Energy. Okay, we even have a Mulligan, so the Lily will not matter too much here. Unless we draw into an Ultra Ball. Okay, Rhyperior. Oh no. No, 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 no. We'll be playing against a Mill deck. Mill decks do run lots of abilities, so Weavile will be our main choice. And we even have Garboder if things get too... Wow, that, that, that was just weird, man. We're definitely gonna have, be able to judge. Okay, just whiffing the turn here. We're gonna be giving an energy to Ditto. I don't think he's gonna be able to dish out damage anyhow. So let's get energy over here. Choice Band will not matter as well. So let's get this Choice Band equipped it. And let's go for a heavy judge. Here you go, man. First turn judge. Hopefully the opponent will break after this and we can just dong this Vulpix. Would be awesome. We even have a Slug Mod to work with and a Cynthia to follow up with that. The only thing we need is like a Weavile and he will, he has to play like abilities, right? Let's pass the turn and see how it goes. Is he gonna be playing something with abilities? He does not know what we're playing, so that is awesome. We have a Ditto and we have a Slugma for the same amount of uh, reasoning. He could also think that we are playing like uh, a Gramble deck. And we do see Beacon immediately, so are we gonna be able to dunk this weird kind of mill deck? It all depends. Oh, Counter Energy will not work. Ah, oh boy. This is not what I wanted to see here. So we're just gonna go for uh, a Cynthia. It's the best I can do for now. And we have a Weavile which can dish out zero damage. Hooray! We need Shrine of Punishment to get rid of his Po Town. So for now, this is gonna have to be aggressive. He's gonna go into a Lola Nine Tails, presumably. So let's get our baby Buzz on board. We're gonna wait uh, to evolve this Ditto because we can go into Weavile. This Ultra Ball could also be nice to just draw some cards. So let's get rid of this. Oranguru is in here. We have Makargo as well. Makargo could be great though. We're definitely gonna be smacking a lot of damage with this Weavile. Hopefully if he gets more abilities into play. We can evolve into Weavile already. I don't think that is uh, something bad here. We can already dish out like 10 damage. Here comes the Instruct. I wonder how many abilities he will be playing with his mill deck. Okay, we have Judge. We have lots of supporters to go with, so now it's going to be an icy win for just 10 damage. That is just fine. 
gonna be falling asleep. He's still asleep, but he's going to evolve, which activates an ability, which makes sure that we can just have a great combo going. We're gonna think gonna get the two prize cards from that alone Ninetales, unless he just decides to super scoop up immediately. Nas Ball, that is his first item, so definitely gonna be going after our uh, Trubbish right now, leaving the bench base open. And Judge is also gonna be our best friend here. A little Ninetales, what are we gonna see? Some items. If he plays more items, we can use Garbodor. If he keeps them in the hand, we can Judge. It all depends on his next following move. The good news is, the more abilities he has in play, like Meganium has an ability, Rhyperia has an ability, uh, Alolo Ninetales has an ability, the more damage this Weavile will dish out. Assuming that this deck is not even an attacking deck, okay, Red Candy and a Looker Whistle. Okay, we already know how Meganium decks works. If you want to find out, there uh, should be a video on the channel uh, where you can find like uh, the ideal way to just go and play with a Meganium deck. But this is kind of a mill variant. You also have like this infinite combo with, of course, the, uh, what was it again? The Greninja GX. Okay, he has lots of cards in the hand, and now we're definitely gonna judge this guy. We're having the Macargo in hand. That's fantastic. So, first things first, let's judge the opponent. That is the best plan of action here, get rid of all the shenanigans. Hopefully he does not draw into some stuff. Okay, now that he has like one, two items in the discard pile, it is safe for us to just get our Garboder up and running. So let's get this Garboder up. It's also not bad to just get out another Sneasel here. Let's just fill up the bench with lots of epicness. Do we fill the bench? Yeah, why not? He's gonna be playing with lots of stuff. So right now I'm just gonna smooth over for whatever the hell I want. And I can just draw that immediately thanks to the instruct. So you still have a judge left. That is awesome. We might as well put the shrine in play. Just get that extra pressure going. We already have the choice band. We don't need another energy attachment, I think. So let's get the shrine on board. We're gonna, gonna draw it out with the instruct. And then we're gonna smack for some huge damage. Next turn, we're definitely gonna get out Fukuya or whatever, depending on what he gets out. So evil abnormation will be dishing out only 60 damage. Well, with shrine, that is, he's at 180 damage. So as soon as he gets out an ability, he's done for. So he's gonna be wondering like, I have to super scoop up and I have to evolve. So looker drawing three cards. From the bottom of the deck i don't know if that will work he's getting a timer ball on board so that is cool for our garboder that is his third item that he used so we're punishing him from playing item cards and also by playing ability so that is why this deck shines we even have a baby boswell to just have some extra pressure but uh, with the instruct and the smooth over combo we are in a safe position to uh Play whatever we want. We can smack down the Garboder if we just draw into a shrine that we cannot play down. Another item being used that is four items that's already 80 damage. I love the odds of that. Definitely gonna be knocking out this little Ninetales GX. He's definitely gonna be milling us. We only have 33 cards left in our deck since we already used uh, like a heavy amount of cards. Our bench is entirely full. We even have Tate and Liza and Switch, so and Guzma cards to just work with, even if he like uh, makes it stuck in the active. So he's gonna get out another Mudcap. What else? If he doesn't get out something cool, okay, the Shrine kicks in, no abilities. So what do we need here? He has 90 damage on him, so that means we have to dish out 110. We dish out 80, with the Shrine is 90. Minus the 20 is 70. 70 plus 20 is still not getting a KO. How many items? Four items, 80 damage. 80 damage for the choice, man. Ooh, we need like lots of stuff here. So uh, if we need lots of stuff, I think I'm just gonna go for Cynthia. You could also judge again. Or Guzma. Kakui will not work. Lily? Kui for two or judge with judge we like ensure that he uh, uses more items ah, I'm just gonna go for a judge I'm just gonna see how it goes even if we don't get the one hit KO here we at least disrupt him from playing any cards down BAM here comes judge <laughs> all his resources back in the deck we have an energy we have an ultra ball hmm energy definitely going onto that garboder to punish the opponent for playing item cards. That is four items, 80 damage, not enough. 
80 with the shrine, 90. Still not getting there, so even Weaver can just do some stuff here. Evil Admonition, that is 60 with the shrine. Could have also retreated into Garbodor, but this is just fine. Definitely gonna be using some kind of yeah, Acer roll up. Should have expected that. Who's next? So Weaver will not be dishing out damage today. Super scoop up again, another item card. Fails, and it's our turn. So that is just very easy for us to just uh, rely on whole lots of mechanics. We can just retreat safely and knock out this Garboder. <laughs> this uh, Mudcap, I mean. Could have also used uh, Ultra Ball and then smooth over for a Guzma to knock out um, um, Chikorita. That could have also happened. Smooth over. What do I want? Hmm. We have switches. We have Guzmas. Maybe a Guzma for next turn, but he's definitely not gonna get a KO here. So let's put a Guzma on top and draw it out with the Lily for next turn. Here we go. Bam! Also gonna not draw too much cards right now because we only have 25 left. We have to be careful here and we have to take like lots of prize cards right now. Alright, that is a card. Do we still have shuffle cards left? Yeah, Cynthia's in the discard pile, three judges, and we don't have shuffle cards left. Oof. Oh boy. This is going to be hard. We're gonna have to be like going all out here with all our resources. Beacon. I don't even mind if their abilities come into play. Meganium and Swampert. I don't mind. Meganium and Swampert, so he must have a rare candy. not gonna be relying on a card here. We could have Guzma it out. Eh, whatever. Just try and just spam Scratch Lange. Hopefully it'll work out. This is a mill deck. I don't know if this is the best approach, but he's definitely gonna be getting out a Swampert and a Meganium. But they all have abilities. That means Weavile can get back in play and we have Kukui. So the thing we have to do is just put a uh, switch on top, then uh, draw it out with Professor Kukui. Bam, it's gonna be game. But actually we're gonna knock out one of these Pokemon. Are we gonna see the mill shenanigans going on right now? Rhyperior. So we have to get rid of Meganium, which is not a big deal if we can get our Weevil going. So Swampert comes out. So that's two abilities. That's uh, already 100 damage. Power draw. The little knight doesn't discard. I would have wished that we could have one shot at this guy. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, 120. That's 120 damage with Treasure Lange. So he's using Gladion. Does he need his Rhyhorn or whatever? This deck also sometimes runs Charizard. That's just crazy. To just get like a discard of 10 cards. And since we don't have any shuffle support right now, we just kind of have to be very careful to what we play right now. Two abilities. Brooklyn Hill. We can also Guzma out this Chikorita, so even if he doesn't evolve it, we get a KO next turn. That is for sure. Or Rhyhorn. Hey! Is he gonna be able to get out the quick ripening herb? The question is, do we go after the Meganium or do we go after the Rhyperior then? Ooh boy. 150, that's just perfect. We just use Guzma and target Meganium, I think that is the best plan of action. All right, so we have our energy. We can also target down Rhyhorn, but he can always get that back and there's only one Rhyhorn on play. Eh, he needs a rare candy right now, which opens the damage output for Trash Land. So let's get this on board. Uh, is that the right play? That was not the right play. Since this guy has 150 damage, not enough. What are we doing, man? What are we doing? One, two, three, four, five, six, 120. That is the wrong move. The wrong move, indeed. Let's just smack this down. Smooth over again. 
we already wasted the Guzma. That is just, ah, oh, why did I do that? We're definitely gonna get milled out for this. This is just a mistake. Switch is good. I don't want my Switch getting discarded here. Eh. We should have targeted down the Rhyhorn because I thought there were like three abilities in play, but nothing more was true. So, ah, this is annoying. He only has like six cards, but he has power draw. We're gonna learn a, pa a painful lesson right here. That uh, misclicking in the TCG Online program can cost you games. Oh boy. How are we gonna see right here? He's definitely gonna discard our switch, so maybe we should have not put that switch on top. Or is he? I don't know. Quick ripening herb, Rhyperior in the house, or yeah, right, quick ripening herb for a Meganium. So now there's two Meganium. Ah, if I knocked this out, I would have been ahead like in prize cards, fanatic Ace Rolla, okay. That is not good. Quick ripening herb, Rhyperior in the active. How much HP? Okay, quick ripening herb for another Meganium. Oh, these Meganium just pop up out of nowhere. And now we're gonna see the discard of cards. 160, wow. Now we're in trouble. Now we're in trouble. But at least Weevil can now start one-shotting. At least we have that. Quick ripening herb. Ugh, bollocks. This Rhyhorn should have already been dead. So, what's to do? Kukui, how many? How much items? Three, four, five, six, one twenty. Not gonna be doing much. That's four abilities in play, so we might as well just go with the flow and just knock this guy out. Oh boy, this is a race against time. Meganium. Are we gonna see some more discussion? He needs Rhyhorn, he needs Rhyperior, Timer Ball, Tails, come on, Tails! Oh yeah, that's cool. Only 19 cards left in the deck. Oh, we have, we still have a Shuffle Support with Tate and Liza, that's cool. That is very cool. Lucky for us. We made a little mistake there by not attacking the Rhyhorn, that way we would have already been like at two prize cards, now it's very dangerous with two Quick, quick Ripening Herbs uh, active. Hopefully he will not be able to get his Rhyperior combo going. The good news is he's already at more items right now. That's 140 damage. One item more and then Garbodor can also start one-shotting whatever we want without having to worry about the abilities. Mellow? Is he gonna go for... Rhyhorn and Rhyperior? With Power Draw he can get the, the combo going. Candy goes away. Okay, that's it is enough damage. Garbodor can officially start one-shotting. There's Char and Mender. Is it, are we gonna see Charizard? Charizard with the, the super boost energy. Discarding the top 10 cards with the Raging Out GX switch and the super boost energy. That would be crazy, man. But we get two prize cards for that and the shrine kicks in as well. Oh boy. 150 with choice banner 180 with Kikui 200 10 cards wow two prism stars holy macaroni that is just crazy so that Charizard I'm not worried about at all how many Guzmas in the discard pile oof how much damage are we be able to pull? 180, 200, 210. Well, screw your draw support, man. Uh, is he gonna be able to discard cards? I don't know, he needs like lots of cards. So what do we desperately want? We want our Guzma to be putting on top. 
first, let's get rid of that Swampert. Bam. And as soon as the Shrine kicks in enough damage, we go after that Charizard. That's that. Oh boy. Charizard can get a lot of punishment here. Four cards in hand, no draw support, two Meganiums. Oh boy. This is a race against time. We only have eight cards left in the deck. So even if he gets out two Rhyperion, we can shuff shuffle lots of cards back in the deck. And this guy gets us two prize cards. How many items? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 180 damage. With a choice band and a Kukui, we can get there. Oh boy, choice bands. Only one in this card. That's cool. A rescue stretch. Are we gonna see some shuffle? Okay, Rhyhorn is gonna go after the discard. Oh boy, our Guzma is definitely gonna get discarded right now. Quick Rightening Herb, oh boy. Definitely want to see my Choice Band still left in the deck, come on. Okay, Choice Band is still left, that's cool. Ah man, he's getting rid of the Charizard, oh boy. Really? Quick Rightening Herb and Charizard is back. Huh. Well, at least I think we got this in the back. We still have like lots of cards and we start one-shotting these guys right now. Super boost? What is this guy? 170? We're KO? Okay, we still have Kukui to dis discard that right period. Okay, we also had like our Guzma actually discarded right now. Oh boy. This is dangerous because if you can get out like one right period, we're done for. Ah, oh. That is just a cool thing to think about. This guy dishes out 170. How crazy is that? We dish out 150. Definitely have to use this Kakui right here. Hopefully you will not be able to recover another right period. For the means of it, let's get... How many rainbow energies in the discard pile? Four. Well, that is just useless. Eh, here we go. Knocking out this guy. He's definitely gonna promote Charizard. But we have another Kukui. <laughs> oh, this is a crazy game. We already would have won if I just selected the right target from the start. And now, he has only two abilities and we are not going to be able to one-shot this Charizard that we don't have a Guzma. Oh boy. But he only has three cards left. Is he going to have a crazy combo? Gladion. What does he need? What does he need? Supporter for next turn. I don't know. We only have two cards left in the deck so if you survive one turn we can use Staten Liza to shuffle everything back in the deck. Does this deck even run counter catchers? I don't even know think so. I don't know. But we have Macargo and other Guru, so... Ah, we don't even have a switch card. Three Guzmas in our discard pile, so this state in Liza will be very, very crazy. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So... State in Liza it is. That's the only thing we can do for now, and hopefully we don't get, like decked out. If he uses counter catcher we will be done for. Smooth over. Da, 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 da. There's nothing we can do. Let's just save this energy while we can. Not that it matters. If, if he's gonna leave something stuck in the active we will be done for. Okay here we go. Evil animation. Bam! 130. Shrine kicking in. 170. What is gonna happen now? Please, no Counter Catcher or Guzma on one of my targets here. If that happens, this is game, I think. Looker, three cards, that is not a Guzma. No Counter Catcher, please. Please. Charizard survives. If he has a super scoop up, we don't even one shot this Megania. Hmm. Who would have ever thought that he's using Rhyperior to get a KO? Maybe we should have get like more Trubbishes out. 
Hmm, now that we know the, how this matchup works, Tails! Ah, oh, boy! Really? Really? Charmander, Charizard, Quick Ripening Herb. Oh, that's just ridiculous, man. That is ridiculous. Trying to punishment kicking in. There's nothing we can do here. Just smack some damage around. You smooth over again. But there's nothing we need, man. Nothing we need. Might as well. I don't know. Get this on board. There we go. Evil animation. He needs to like Ace Rolla once again. We have our Kukui ready. He needs. Ah, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. We have eight cards left in the deck. The shrine will be kicking in, but our Guzmas are gone. We only play three in this list. Crazy, crazy games, right? I made a mistake, and hopefully I won't pay for it. We would have already won if we targeted like, like that right horn like ages ago. Ace Roll again. Jars are the front. Come on. Of course, Jars are the front. Probably gonna like do the discard entirely. So like this is like two Meganians, one ability. Okay, Shrine kicking in. Don't care about that. Let's just use Evil Animation. Bam, 130. Shrine kicking in. Probably gonna see Ace Rolla once again. How many Ace Rollas has he already used? Two, three, three Ace Rollas. And how many Super Scoop Up? Two. Super scoop up, really? Everything is has. That is just ridiculous. Ah, boy, that's just crazy. The super scoop ups keep working. Trying again. Oh, try it now. Once again, he can get out two right periods, and that would be game. But he has like four. Six cards and Rhyperior is in the discard, two of them, I wonder. This cannot keep drag on forever with a Super Scoop Up and Ace Rolla combo. Nice ball. What's going to come up? Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn. Rescue Stretcher. Rhyperior. Looker. Only eight cards in his deck. Hmm. Charizard heart was crazy. Now you see that deck in action as well. That deck actually did quite well at the uh, uh, regionals and Harrogate. Okay, Rhyperior showing up. He's gonna discard three cards. I think. Is he gonna be able to get this Meganium out? Rescue Stretch. Is he gonna... What is this? Quick Ripening Herb. Three cards. Is he gonna get another Rhyhorn out? It's gonna be perfect math. Let's see. Oh wow. Really? Well played. Okay, I made a mistake and paid for it, but this is just fantastic. So he milled me per perfectly and uh, looked like his super scoop up luck was just better than mine. Than uh, my luck here with the, the <laughs> oh boy. I just screwed up big time. But yeah, as you know, this is a very great deck. Check it out for yourself. Buzzwall with uh, the Garboder and Weavile. Very nice. Also, this mill deck is something we should try out, even though I'm not really a big fan of mill decks. Anyhow, have a fantastic rest of your day. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.